my name is Jeremy Wade and I am your Canadian Reef Master. Today we're having a look at some of that beautiful acropora that I picked up from a local reefer in a recent trip up to North Vancouver. You can see this video of this trip on my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like reef, aquarium, and other hobbies surrounding these topics. Now let's have a look at what I got and see how amazing these coral are doing. I start by acclimatizing my coral to temperature in the sump of the tank. Although coral may come from a reputable source, it is essential that all coral is dipped before placing it in your display tank. A quarantine tank is an excellent tool for a reef aquarium hobbyist as it is a good step in eliminating a pest from entering your display tank. As I finish dipping my coral, I place them on a frag rack so I can observe them over the next few days. Here is a selection of frags that I chose to bring home. My purple tang is already inspecting the new coral and picking at them to see if there's anything tasty. Purple tangs and other tangs are reef safe, however they are curious and often will pick at the base of coral for algae. Sometimes they will also steal food from coral, which may cause a bit of tissue damage. Here you see the coral under 10,000 Kelvin lighting. I tend to keep my coral under a bluer wavelength when I'm around. Here is the first coral that we look at up close. This is the Reef Raft Wildfire Acropora. It has beautiful red polyps and it's going to color up lovely in the tank. One of my favorite Acropora has always been Marvin the Martian. This coral has a beautiful blue base with absolutely stunning contrasting green polyps. Similar to the Marvin the Martian Acropora is the Reef Raft Ultimate Bonsai, which has been a staple among reefers for many years. The Pearlberry Acropora is a lovely Acropora with teal base and blue tips, as well as that lovely green polyp. Here is a coral that is very regional and often not seen across a whole nation is the Coral Indiana Acropora. It's a beautiful Acropora and often is hard to come by in the trade. While I observed the Acropora on a frag rack for a few days, I was able to make a plan of where I wanted to place the Acropora in the tank, making sure that there is a wonderful contrast of color. When I mount my coral in the tank, I ensure that I mount them on a horizontal axis. This promotes gene expression that leads to enhanced growth of the coral through encrusting of the base rock as well as promoting axle growth. I hope you enjoyed this video as we check out the beautiful new aquapore that I added to my tank. They are doing exceptionally well and are growing beautifully. Now, the problem is that I probably won't get to see them grow for another three years like some of the other coral that are in my tank. The tank is three years old and I think it's time that we have some big changes. So I hope you did subscribe to my channel so that you know what's going on. Make sure to hit the notification button so it lets you know when I do post new videos. And make sure you check out some of the other videos on my channel and like and comment. For now, I hope you're all doing well and until the next video, take care everybody.